Welcome to the Grand Canyon. We're about to set out on a healthy hike. I'm with my daughter Brianna and Jeff. We're going to show you what we eat along the way and how we make our hike healthy. We anticipate 38 to 40,000 steps on our pedometer by the end of our hike and I will let you know. See you later. Here we are with our hiking poles pack on, ready for our 13 mile hike. So we're going to be going down the South Kaibab Trail, about four miles down, then crossing over to the Bright Angel Trail, and we'll be going up the Bright Angel Trail. As we're ready to set out today, we want to make sure we have plenty of water to stay well hydrated. We each have a bladder in our backpack with clearly filtered water in there, so we have a source of pure water. And in addition, we wanted to have some sources of electrolytes as well, so I've brought with me some coconut water. This is just pure coconut water, not from concentrate. No added sugars. You want to be careful because this same brand also makes a pineapple flavored and a mango flavored coconut water, but those have added sugar, so you want to just get the plain one. And in addition, I've got some juice here. I figure who needs electrolyte packets and goos when you have watermelon rinds. So don't throw out your watermelon rinds because you can stick them through the juicer and make a great electrolyte beverage for yourself. In here, in addition to the watermelon rinds, I've also got some cucumber and some celery, which will give us a good source of natural sodium. So we're ready, and here we go. So we're about two miles into our hike and it's time for a little rest and our green smoothie. We froze our green smoothie in a bag so it's been thawing and now we're about to enjoy it. Remember green is chlorophyll, that's energy for our hike. Just like Brianna showed you the green juice that we have in our packs, this is also going to energize us to take our hike in plenty of protein. We're now four and a half miles in on our lovely hike. We stopped to have some of that green juice that Brianna told you about earlier. By the way, if you don't know, Brianna's my lovely daughter. She's a doctor, Dr. Brianna Grigsby. And we also have with us some lip balm. It's important to keep your lips hydrated. This is Badger Vanilla Bean. We're near the bottom and it's time for a break. We're sitting down to rest our feet. Here I want to tell you that you need a non-toxic sunscreen. Dr. Furman recommends green screen, and we're using that today. Also, if you need a good source of pure water, clearly filtered is great. You can fill this bottle with any water, and it will filter it. They also made a pitcher, which we use to fill our camelback. So when you go on a hike, make sure you take plenty of pure water to stay hydrated. Some of us have enough green energy to take diversions from the trail and climb huge rocks. So isn't this a cool little shelter God provided for us when we came into some heavy rain? We hardly got wet and now the sun's coming out again, so off to hike. Here we are, eight miles into our hike at this lovely lunch spot, Indian Garden. We've got a creek running behind us and beautiful food in front of us. What we're having today for a plant-based whole foods lunch is green and, I mean, I'm sorry, orange and red 
bell pepper, organic of course, stuffed with this lovely tempeh walnut cranberry salad. And we've got roasted sweet potatoes, avocados, sugar snap peas, and celery with some raw almond butter, along with a few Mary's Gone crackers to top it off. I'm going to let Brianna tell you what all is in this tempeh walnut cranberry salad. It's a mock chicken salad. The tempeh salad is pretty, pretty simple to make. It's baked tempeh and then combined with celery, green onions, dried cranberries that are apple juice sweetened instead of sweetened with sugar, and raw walnuts. And the dressing is made out of tahini and fig balsamic vinegar. So we're about to eat up. So we're two miles from the top on Bright Angel Trail. And this is probably one of our last break stops to rest a little bit and show you the absolutely gorgeous scenery. Enjoy. Well, I have to admit, I'm worn out. I'm about a mile from the top, and I'm sure glad I saved my coconut water for this last leg. It is very energizing and helpful. More steps than I've ever had on my pedometer, 44,293.